The roof is one of the most important elements of the building to maintain. It plays a crucial role in keeping the rainwater out as well as moving it away from the building. Your first step should be to examine the roof for signs of damage. After a storm is a good time to do this, but otherwise make sure you walk around the building at least twice a year to check the condition of the roof. To get a clear picture, it's always useful to try and view the roof coverings from as many different angles as possible. As well as examining the roof from the ground, the church tower is a good vantage point if you have one and it's safe to access. To get a closer look, you can also use a ladder, but again, only if it's safe to do so. Binoculars and high resolution photographs can also be useful and creating and marking up a roof plan can also be a helpful tool for noting down any problems. Whilst slate and tile are the most common roof coverings across the UK, that isn't to say each roof covering is the same. You'll spot regional differences in materials, fixings, use of weathering details, and how the roof meets other parts of the building. These details are important to the character of your building. If your roof is complicated, a tip is to start by looking at the highest point of the roof and to follow the journey of the rainwater down to the gutter. By repeating this as you move around the church, it will make sure that each roof slope has been covered. Starting at the top, follow the ridge line along to check its alignment and to make sure there aren't any missing, slipped or broken ridge tiles. Then do the same across the body of each roof slope in turn, checking for areas which may have slipped, damaged or missing slates or tiles. Sometimes you'll find clues of damage such as pieces of broken slate or tile in the gutter or on the floor of the churchyard. You may also find evidence of previous repairs where slates have been refixed using lead or copper wire tingles, although it should be noted that heavier stone slates should have been renailed or pegged. It's also worth trying to understand how the damage may have occurred and prevent it from happening again. Has debris fallen from above or maybe the fixing holding the slate in place has failed? Make a note of any issues you find and make arrangements for the repairs to be carried out. Traditional metal roof coverings, typically lead, but also copper and more recently stainless steel and aluminium may also have been used on your building. The metal sheets are usually laid over timber boards with gaps between to provide ventilation to prevent corrosion to the underside of the metal sheets. These are usually on the shallower roof pitches and can be difficult to inspect from the ground. Ideally, they require access onto or close to the roof. Look out for any issues such as holes or splits in the surfaces of the sheets, which may also allow water beneath. Lead can be repaired using welded patches or proprietary adhesive tape is also available for temporary repairs. Lead is a malleable and soft metal. This makes it great for adapting and forming complex joints or covering uneven surfaces. But it also makes it vulnerable to damage from stress or impact from debris or broken slates. The jointing and junctions of metal sheets are also designed to accommodate seasonal movement in the roof as it expands and contracts. Similarly, lead flashings may also be used where the roof abuts the wall, such as upstands or parapets at the roof edge or where the roof changes direction. These can present weak points for water to get into the building, so it's important to check that these are secure. Check for signs of cracking or failure of mortar joints, or where the flashing might have moved out of alignment. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by the SPAB in collaboration with the National Churches Trust and Historic England. We hope you found it useful be sure to look out for other videos in the series and for more tips on how to maintain your place of worship.